Let's talk now about solving inequalities. Now, when we refer to solving an inequality, we mean the same thing as we do when we refer to solving an equation. It means to describe all of the solutions. In general, that description will take the form of an inequality itself. So typically we'll expect to see x is less than a number, x is less than or equal to a number, x is greater than a number, or x is greater than or equal to a number. Like equations, occasionally when we solve inequalities, we'll be left with an inequality with no variable in it. If that inequality is true, then every number is a solution, whereas if that inequality is false, there's no solution. But just like with equations, the main question we want to answer is, how can we get to that point? That is, what steps are we allowed to take in solving an inequality? Remember the steps that we were allowed to take in solving an equation. We could add the same number to both sides, and we could multiply both sides by the same number as long as it wasn't zero. In order to see if these still work for inequalities, I'm going to just start myself off with an inequality and see what happens. I'm going to start with the inequality x is greater than negative 1. On the number line, that looks like this. x could be any of the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, or of course any of these fractions in between. It can't be negative 1, negative 2, or negative 3. Let's take a look at a number line now and see what x plus 3 might be. In order to see that, I'm going to add 3 to each of those numbers. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. And so on. Notice what I'm doing. I'm just adding 3 to each of the labels on my original number line. So I see that x plus 3 is greater than 2. What happened? I added 3 on each side of my equation. So that's OK. I conclude that I can add the same positive number on both sides of an inequality. What about a negative number? Can I do that? Let's say I want to add negative 2 to my original x. Well, I'm going to add negative 2 to each of these labels. Negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, and so on. What happened? I see that x plus negative 2 is greater than negative 3. What's happened here? I've added negative 2 to both sides. I conclude that I can add the same negative number on both sides. OK, so far so good. What about multiply? Let's say I want to look at 2 times my original x. Now I'm just going to go through and multiply each of the labels by 2. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. 0 times 2 is 0, and so on. Now, that number line is sized a little bit funny. But I could draw a number line that looks like that. That's just fine. I have 2x is greater than negative 2. 
Again, I've just multiplied the expression on the left by 2, the expression on the right also by 2. So far, so good. All of these things that I could do in solving an equation, I can also do in solving an inequality. But, look what happens if I multiply by a negative number. I multiply each of these labels by negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. 0 times negative 3 is 0. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Now, this number line is also scaled a little bit strangely, but that's not the main problem with it. The main problem with this number line is that it's backward. What do I mean? I mean, as we go from left to right, it counts down. It doesn't count up. If we want to understand an inequality on this number line, we have to draw it the other way around and I reverse the direction. So now the numbers go from smaller to bigger along the bottom of the number line. Notice I have the same numbers marked. Right, I've marked 0, negative 3, negative 6, negative 9. What happened here? I got that negative 3x is less than 3. Hmm. So I did multiply both sides of my original inequality by negative 3, negative 3x, negative 3 times negative 1. But something funny happened. The inequality reversed direction. Why did that happen? Because multiplying by that negative number flipped the number line around. I can multiply both sides by the same negative number, but when I do, I have to reverse the inequality symbol. Solving steps, then. Can I take all of the same solving steps that I did for solving an equation? Yes, but with one special thing that happens. When I'm solving an inequality, I can take all the same steps as when I solve an equation. But if at any point I need to multiply or divide by a negative number, then I have to reverse the inequality. Why? Because multiplying or dividing by a negative number flips the number line around.